The biggest mistake, number one, okay, is going to be the penultimate because that's such a great word in, in American long jumping is the penultimate. And we teach the heck out of the penultimate, but we do it too much. We overload that last step. And I think that's the biggest mistake we make. I made it too as a coach. I think every coach who's coached the long jump has made it at one point. Because to get a lot of height, and these kids have grown up playing basketball, they will drop their hips and jump straight up. Because that's how, that's how, you, that's how you do a, do a layup or dunk a ball. Or, or a lot of this, when we're trying to do a, a test to, see our, to test our vertical, we're going to drop our hips as much as we can and try to load them up and, and get as high as we can. But there is a problem associated with long jump when we overdo the penultimate step. And I think we've put so much energy into that, we have lost a lot of what we've been trying to do everywhere else. You know, and so, and what does that mean? That means, uh, for instance, to, to, to put the penultimate step in as simple terms as I possibly can, you're sprinting down the runway. There's eventually going to be a step where you have to drop the hips. But every step, when you're sprinting and you're being aggressive, you are pushing aggressively to the ground. But to lower the hips, you have to soften one step at some point. And hopefully it's three steps before the jump, and hopefully you don't soften it too much. Because when that step softens, it's gonna create a long step and then a short step. And that long step is when the hips are sinking. And that short step is when that foot gets underneath you. The problem is if those hips are dropped too low, what that does is it reduces all of the speed that you've tried to develop. All that horizontal velocity is out the window. It's gone. What's going to happen is a, a, a jumps coach is going to think, that's a big jump because they're going to get a ton of height. Chances are they're going to get way up in the air. But it's not going to project in the angle that you're looking for. And that's where we run into problems because the long jump has to project in that correct angle off the takeoff board so we can go far. Doesn't matter, you don't get extra points in the long jump for going high, and I tell our athletes that all the time. It's fun to go way up in the air, and a great jump, you feel both. You feel up and you feel out. But the problem is a lot of times they're just getting the up and they're gonna come right back down. A lot of people uh, have a habit of going too deep on their penultimate. Um, it's supposed to be a very quick and light step, but people put too much emphasis on it and aren't able to get off of it quick enough in order to take off and jump. And the reason you don't emphasize it is because if you even think about it, it'll change how you jump. And so um, a lot of the ways of learning how to, to do the penultimate is through a different drill that's focusing on something else. But if we had to focus on it in general, we would think of quickening that step before you plant. Some drills I've done for the penultimate are what we call a um, box ground box. You use a, a box and you, as you're running, you take a few steps. It almost doesn't matter kind of the distance behind that. But um, you take a few steps, you hit the box, you hit the ground, which will create that um, penultimate for you where your hips subtly come down. And then you hit another box, which is where um, your hips rise again in order for you to take the jump and go higher. It's very important to get the last two steps right in order to set yourself up for a good jump. If you come in to, uh, as you're running down the runway and you come in, you're on your toes, it's going to be much harder to land, go all the way flat footed and jump again than it is if you are already prepared by going flat penultimate, flat takeoff. <laughs> 